Sorry. Tube Nation. Welcome. Welcome back. We're at Coachella, but this is not the Coachella vlog. No, not at all. It's Thursday night, weekend two. We're at this gorgeous little house. There's a fire pit. There's a fire pit. But we just wanted to give you guys a video because I just know it's gonna take me two years to edit my Coachella vlog. So <laughs> we wanted to like sprinkle in something. One of my top comments on one of the TikToks we made was, I'm so excited for Coachella vlog in August. Yeah. And there's so many replies being like, so true, Romeo. So funny. Listen, I take my time. But that's what makes it a good vlog. It's a craft. Yeah. We are bored at this little house. It's one in the morning. Woo! We have the pre-Coachella jitters. We have things to do. Yeah. People to see shit to fuck we up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that too. Okay, so we're just gonna answer some questions, what whatevsies. But before we get started, I do have a sponsor. So take it away, Sarah. All right, y'all, today's sponsorship is BetterHelp. Finding a therapist that you really vibe with and connect with is a very difficult task. I know I've said this before in previous videos, but it's been so hard for me to find one and I'm just so happy that I finally found one after years of seeing one a few times and then just being like, I don't like you. I thank the heavens every single night that I found one that I really connect with. And it's just been so nice seeing her every week. She just really helps me go through everyday challenges and just sorting out all of my insane chaotic thoughts that just swirl around my head every single day. So regardless if you have a mental health issue such as depression or anxiety, or if you're just simply a human being going through life and having a hard time, therapy can give you tools to approach life in a completely different way. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Better Help's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And that's really important, especially if finding a therapist is really hard, especially in your area. Better Help is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And because finding a therapist is a little like dating, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist with no additional cost, no hidden fees or anything of the sort, without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. And it's super easy to sign up and get matched with a the therapist. All you gotta do is just scroll down, there's a link in my description, and it's BetterHelp dot com slash Sarah Vasca. And by clicking that link, not only will you be supporting this channel, but you'll also get 10% off of your first month with BetterHelp. So you can see if you vibe with a therapist, see if it helps you. Let's get our life together, guys. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. All right, let's all right, go. let's get into it. Cheers first. Oh yes, cheers. Are you sipping on a Modelo? I have some twisted tea. Can you open this one? Yeah. Are you feeling twisted? Not really. This is gonna be some twisted tea. Ooh, R. It's gonna be so tame. <laughs> this is the first question. What? From my friend Israel. He asks, what if? You know, Israel, the thing is, is life is not about the what ifs. It's about the what is. Exactly. Israel, what is? What is wow. Israel? I hope that speaks to you. What is, not what if. And what can. What can and what will. Si se puede. Wow, gotta kick it up. Si se puede. <laughs> Gotta kick it up. The I mean, that it's Disney also channel. just like a saying in Spanish. I swear it's from that movie. Si, si, I mean, I, they probably used it, but it's just, I don't know what you're talking about. Totally. <laughs> Disney Channel. Right, right, right. Disney Channel original? Right, right. Okay, biggest ick a person could do slash give. Uh, I've said this in a video before, but wasting my time. When someone says something, but they just aren't either fulfilling what they said or like don't respond quick enough for me to be able to like plan my shit. It's like you're wasting my time. I need speediness. I have options. Wow. And it's true. Like, I don't need loving. Yeah, you know, we both got options. Exactly. Mine is probably when I'm creeping on a guy for the first time on Instagram and then I go to their following and it's just all naked bitches. Oh, yeah. Like OnlyFans bitches. But that's like an ick for like a guy. I was thinking about an ick for like anyone in my life. Well, yeah, I know. I, I was just thinking about that because that just happened to me. Oh. 
but like, yeah, so weird. Like that's all you what follow. What would you expect, though? You don't have any other interests. It's literally <laughs> so true. So true. Oh wait, another thing is like when a guy is like, oh my god, I'm really good at this. They like try to teach you how to do it, and then they like they kind of like mansplain it. That, but then they also just kind of suck at it while they're showing it to you. Right, right, right. Like they they're like, oh, I play golf, but they've only gone golfing like four times. For example, this one guy had to teach me how to gamble. <laughs> we were playing blackjack, and he just kept losing money, and it was just so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, we had some technicals. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa! That okay. changes everything. We, we had some technical difficulties. We, we have some leg room. Oh shit. I'm scared my cooch is gonna fall out. Okay, next question. Wait, I love this. Okay, zoomed out. What do you think Pitbull does in his free time? Dude. Zodiac sign broke your heart. Um, say it. Say it. Out loud. I'm, Out loud. I'm trying, like, no one has really, like, broken my heart. Probably when I found out I had a girlfriend. Because we were talking every day for, like, months and months. Oh, yeah. Literally. That was awful. Yeah, yeah, that was on our drive home back from Ryan's birthday. Oh, yeah. And I was in the front seat, like, trying not to lose it. I was so sad. He's a Capricorn. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. God, Capricorns. Yeah, dude. I don't think I know one Capricorn man. Do I? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I love that though. I know. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> My mom had the same birthday. <laughs> Like, am I happy that you're exactly like my mom, or is that something I need I to think take you to can Cheryl? Answer that with okay. Cheryl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is the next? <laughs> what is the next song that hits like loose screws? I don't know, dude. I don't know. My screws all loose. Baby, come hop in the bag of the whip and we do it. I know, but we go to crack like money. You know, oh, yeah. Like, that's the only thing that I can think of that we like yeah. sing all the time. Yeah. In the city that we run. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, all this money that we made. Yeah, that. Glorb. I swear to God, Glorb is gonna be my number one Spotify artist. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. No, I'm not joking. You just came out with a new song with Dankton. Dankton. And it's so fire. <laughs> Dankton? It's so fire. I need to like deep dive into the lore because like I don't get it at the level that you do. These bitches that don't know what's up, there's this guy, his name is Glore, and he makes Spongebob diss tracks, like AI diss tracks, and they're actually so good. There's lore. If you go to Glorb's YouTube channel and you scroll all the way down and watch the music videos in order, it's there's like beef. actual beef between Bikini Bottom. There's a storyline and he like updates it every single month and like like drops a new track. Oh my god. And Plankton just fired back yesterday and I'm just on the tip of my toes. I'm so happy that Plankton fired back. Oh my god, and guess who featured? Guess who popped up? Who? Mrs. Puff, dude. And she's a baddie. Oh. She's so fucking hot. Oh. Yes. Oh. Big titties. Okay. Big ass. Okay. Plankton's just like, yeah, what's up? You didn't think I'd come back. I am fat. That boy gonna leave. And then he opens up the fucking car. This is Paul. Miss P. Time to introduce myself. I'll be the puff yeah. And she looks so good. Anyway, I will not shut up about Gore. If anyone will listen, I will she talk about it. She fucking loves Gore. God, I love him. Current celebrity crush? That's oh, actually. Oh, I have one. Wait, okay, go. Because that's. I have to think about it. Who? You know who? You know who? Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> like a real celebrity? Like, or like, think about it. Oh, fucking that bitch. What's her name again? She plays basketball. Caitlin Clark, yeah. 
That's your celebrity crush right now, for sure. Yeah, I sent you like three TikTok edits of Caitlyn Clark last night and you didn't respond. Girl, I was out last night. Dude, she's so fucking hot. And who knew that I would be into basketball? I don't give a fuck. Should I take a gander? Yes. But I don't give a shit. I used to not give a shit about basketball at all. I don't know, something about Caitlyn Clark. Which one's the best? Oh, out of these both two. of them. Both of them. But she goes, mm. she's so hot. Okay. She's straight though. She has a boyfriend. <coughs> Damn. I know. I feel like I need to like understand yeah. more because I don't get it. But like, I support you. Thank you. I, but I, I feel like I could get it if I like dove into it. I didn't get it either until I watched the uh, NCAA Final Four. Mm -hmm. And I just started watching her play basketball. And now like, I'm just, she's just, oh. Right, right, right. Anyway, that's like so random. Yeah, th I feel like this is your first like official girl celebrity crush. That I'm like keeping tabs yeah. on like, every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I wake up sometimes and I'm like, what's Caitlyn up to? Yeah, and it's not that one. It's not this one. No. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of, Caitlyn Ray is asleep. Oh yeah, she's asleep. Surprisingly, it's only 1.30. Yeah. Wow, oh, there's so many Caitlyns in my life that I care about. Who else? Caitlyn Urban. Bestie, Katie. Oh, I was like, so like <laughs> I was like, hmm? <laughs> I was like, I know that last name. No, like calling Katie Caitlyn is not right. No, sense. that is not correct. Okay, hey, who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> I literally don't know right now. The really? Lexapro is Lexaproing. So you're like stable right now. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like I'm not like shitting and farting over anyone right now. That's healthy. <sighs> but how fucking boring. Like, I literally feel like that BTS meme that's like, I started taking antipsychotics and now I don't care about BTS. <laughs> not that I, okay, I still love BTS. That's not what I'm saying. That's just what the meme says. I'm just not like tripping anymore. No, that's healthy. I, I think that that's all I guess I switched meds. So in the middle of my switching yeah, meds, you like, I'm like, Caitlin Clark. You like grasped onto the first person you saw, which is so random. Like, which is so real and actually has been our coping mechanism since we were literal children, so that's not surprising. Yeah, I think that once my new meds settle in, yeah, I'll be like, hey, Sarah, that was a yeah. insane. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, who have I, my, like, a celebrity crush? Like, Colby Brock, I don't give a fuck. That's true. He's not a celebrity, and we have so many mutual friends, but, like, I want you so bad. It's okay, you have a girlfriend, and she's so hot. Like, don't even look at me. I didn't even say that, but. Oh, and we see him constantly. No, it's heartbreaking <laughs> every time. Because <laughs> every time I'm like, we look so happy together. Yeah. But it hurts. Yeah. Oh my God. When Colby Brock and the Sturdy Yellow Triplets did their collab. Oh, because I love the triplets. Oh, that was, like, yeah. That was so fun for us. Yeah, not in like a weird way. I just love them as creators. You to explain yourself well, that way. You know, I don't know. But Colby and the Sturdy Yellows did a video together and it was so funny. And Sarah like loves the Sturdy Yellows because they're so fucking funny. I never watched them. And then she like literally sat me down and was like, they're the funniest people ever. You have to watch them. And they're literally, I'm they're obsessed. so adorable. They're dude. so funny and so cute. Oh my god, their dynamic is everything. Yeah. Like, I love it. Yeah. So the fact that they collabed with, with Sam Colby. and Colby. Yeah, Sam and Colby. It brought me and Christelle together also, in the living room. This isn't like fucking tea or anything. This is like the nicest thing ever. When we met Sam officially at Tara's party mm -hmm. and he was the sweetest human being ever. Yeah. And then me still being too pussy to talk to Colby. <laughs> and he was right next to us. And he was smacking on his girlfriend. Because I've been crushing on him forever. For a while. It's been since October. Oh. That's probably why, because I started my medication right after, <laughs> so he's been my last one. It's your last one. It's your last call. <laughs> Where did you meet? A One Direction concert. Mm -hmm. How cute is that? That's so cute. I know. How old were we? Like 16, 15? I was 17. Okay, so I, I was 16. 16. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I know. Wow, and Ashlyn 10 years. Was, and Ashlyn was 18, and that's the only reason why I could go. Because oh, Ashlyn was 18. Shit. My yeah. dad didn't have any idea that I stole his credit card and bought a train ticket to that concert. Well, he knows now. <laughs> what? Love hey, dad. Sammy. <laughs> so it's like, who the fuck is that family? Because <laughs> I posted. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what fucking family? 
<laughs> That's the first thing that I ask you. Um, who is your dream blunt rotation? Oh, let's pick three other people. Who would you choose? Okay, Caitlin Clark. <laughs> oh, to smoke a blunt with, you were getting high with these people. Yeah, why like, not? Was that what you want to do? I would be shitting myself. With Caitlin Clark, I feel like it would be shit <laughs> I don't know her like that, so I would just ask her questions about basketball because I don't know. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta talk to and someone. And it's just you two. <laughs> it's exactly. just a date. Yeah. <laughs> she just makes it a date. <laughs> I would hate that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that just made me. Okay, nervous. so Caitlin Clark. That just made me nervous. Ugh, come on, Brian. Brian, dude. Okay, this is already crazy. And then, um, God, who? Erica Badu. Okay, period. I needed someone to balance us out. Yeah. I needed someone that like knows how to smoke weed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Erica knows. I feel like Erica would be the perfect person to be in a blunt rotation with because she would like handle if, it. If someone got too high, me, Brian, or Kim Clark. Yeah. She would be able to like guide us through it. Okay, I think I would do Harry. Totally. And that's it. <laughs> no, I'm not no, oh my god, getting high with Harry alone. I genuinely think that would be the best scenario ever. They probably throw up everywhere. I feel like I would dissociate enough where it would be like, yeah, this is happening. Oh, I would be stuck in a K-hole. You know, a K-hole like, for weed. <laughs> a you W know, like, hole. When it's like derealization, when you're like way too high and everything is just like spinning around you. Yeah. That well, would be me and Harry alone smoking. Oh my god. Like he would be speaking and it would be in slow motion and then he would just be like spinning around and he'd be like, oh. Like and you're you know. like no, <laughs> I'm speaking Chinese. You're falling back into the wood. What? what was that? What was it? The, oh, the sunken place. The sunken place. I just got her to watch Get Out the other day. Yeah, literally. I'm so late to the party, but it was a great movie. <laughs> to the fact that I made you watch Get Out and Midsummer in the same. That night. was beautiful. I need that. I mean, need to do that again. I had so much fun doing that. <laughs> that was an insane. I love lineup. watching a movie where it like feels like my brain like expanded a little bit. Mm -hmm. I need to keep doing that. Okay, dream brunt. Brunt? Brunch. <laughs> Dream brunch. <laughs> Dream blunt rotation would be me, Harry. Can I say Jimmy Buffett? Sure. Okay. Jimmy Buffett. Oh, yeah. God, Harry and Jimmy Buffett. Oh, that'd be so oh. awesome. And you. Stop. That would be such a fantastic experience, but you would have to hold, hold it down, girl. <laughs> that was like the sweetest thing you've ever said, but also now I'm in my head. How would I handle that? Well, yeah, but also like, how would I handle it if you were there? You're so correct. I would need you there. You're so right. Jimmy Buffett and Harry is and there. Harry. If, oh my God, with some like yacht rock in the background. We're on a yacht. On a yacht. Oh. With a nice breeze. In Key West. Ah! I miss Jimmy. And Jimmy's cutting up some fresh ass fish we just bought. And some pineapples. Or caught, sorry. Yes. Some pineapples. Some pineapples. Someone's feeding us grapes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry to interrupt the scheduled programming, but I just want to tell you guys that I do have new merch and it's so cool. Me and Caitlin collaborated with this really awesome artist. His name is Freddie Tyler Paul. And we came up with these awesome designs. And if you guys watched the Vegas video where me and Caitlin went to Tana Mojo and Jake Paul's wedding, you remember the onions in the bathtub saga. So this sweater says, what's with all the onions in my bathtub? And there's this girl looking puzzled and this girl sitting in a bathtub bathtub filled with onions. Like, are you kidding? This is so cool. It also comes in t-shirt form. This is what the t-shirt looks like. We got our names on the back. Very fun, very fun. And since Caitlin and I have gotten our hearts broken multiple times this year by DJs, we had to turn our pain into art. So this one says, if one more DJ breaks my heart, I'll just become one myself. And there's some cute little ladies dancing on a DJ booth, like period. That one also comes in t-shirt form. Look at how adorable these are. Freddie Tyler Paul killed it. I'll link his Instagram in my description also along with the link where you can buy this stuff. It's not gonna be available for long so make sure you guys go and get it and send me pictures of you wearing them please. This is like my favorite merch drop ever so yeah. All right let's get back into it. Should we like get our energy up? I feel like we're really chill right now. Are like we? we need to, yeah we're really chill because we're not drunk. Get up. Should we um chub? 
And then I can stand. Okay. You can. Should we chug into a handstand? I'm so sad I can't partake in that anymore. Okay, I'll chug into a handstand. I will sit here and be pretty. Count me down from seven. All right, seven. Hmm. 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 Hmm? That's already too much. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, okay. mountains, desert, valley, city, lake, or country. My mom said that. What are you currently manifesting? What's your favorite style in home decor? <laughs> it's all your mom. Oh, of course. Oh, this one's cute. What? This one's really cute. What is it? Or do you want me to just react to it? This one's really cute. Let me react to it. Okay. okay. What quality about the other would you want to pass on to your children? Oh. <laughs> something to you but don't look at me when okay. I say it okay so I saw something on I think it was TikTok okay and it was this quote I think I don't know what it was it was like a quote and it was like all of my <laughs> it was like all of my friends are having kids that look like the kids I used to play with in the creek <laughs> in the creek like cause like they would just like play in the creek when they were kids and they all look like their kids look like themselves when they were kids <laughs> And I just was like, I... Ew, stop. We're not having kids, but people around us are starting to have kids, and it's like... Oh, my bestie's on her second. I know. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. Wait, I'm scared. I have no idea what you're gonna say. I hope that my kid is as open-hearted and free as Christelle. And what I mean by that is Christelle, like whenever she meets new people, she's just so open-hearted. She just wants to get to know everybody. She has the best intentions. She just looks at life with such a pure soul, if that makes sense. Like you just look at the best in everybody and everything. And I think that that's such a beautiful quality to have. And I hope that my kid is like that too. Cause I think it's so nice to be around. That is so disgusting. Oh, that was really nice. I love you. I love you. Oh, <laughs> I hope I can teach them that. You will. Oh my God, okay. I think your ability to listen is so admirable. And I feel like one of the things that I've learned from you from like all the years of being friends with you is like, it's okay to like not have anything to say and just like listen and then like gather your thoughts before you say something. You take more time, like you stop and think mm. a lot more than I do. I'm more like impulsive and let's fix this right now. But instead you're like, let's take a second and like talk about it. It's admirable for me where like you're able to listen to other people when there's an issue or listen to yourself and mm. know what you need to do to mm. like move on. Moving on doesn't have to be right now. Oh. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what and, you mean. And I it's take like, my time with yeah, you. I've learned a lot of just like, not necessarily holding my tongue, cause like you don't hold your tongue, but for me it's holding my tongue, do you know what I mean? I know. It's just, you have that quality that like, I don't think I lack anymore because I've learned it from you, but it's something that I hope you can pass on to my kids if I have them. That is so sweet. Yeah. I appreciate that you like see that in me. Oh my God, yeah. That's why there's certain times where like, I need to talk to you only about certain things. Well, for you, it's like always, like I'll tell you about anything, but like, do you know what I mean? I like, know exactly. What you it's mean. just, it's okay to slow down and figure it out mm -hmm. instead of like fucking shitting. Like, like, like you like need to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have that quality before mm -hmm. we moved in together, I think. Aww. Yeah. 
So sweet. Oh, that was cute. That was a really cute question. Yeah. And what I was gonna say too is that's one thing that I learned about you with my answer because it's really hard for me to when I'm in new spaces and like meet new people to like fully feel comfortable and be myself. And I love watching Christelle in these spaces because she's just so open to everyone and everything. Where it like helps me be like, oh yeah, like everything's okay, you know. Does that make I sense? mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's just the same thing. thing. You have more anxiety in social things, and I. I have more anxiety and like dealing internally with mine. Yeah. Okay, um, Caitlin's SD card ran out of space, so we're on my phone now. Hey guys. This is fun. Oh wait, we wanted to answer your mom's question. Hi Barb. Hi Barb. We miss you. We love you. Oh, my mom is so jealous. Of being here? My mom wants to be here so bad. Why isn't she here? I know, right? I love that. Barb's question says, what are you currently manifesting? I'm manifesting good health, good mental health, and money. Yeah, period. And I friendships to be solid. Yeah, I feel like mine has been finding a job that like doesn't make me want to die. <laughs> That's what I'm manifesting. And also health for me and my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. That's like, honestly, I feel so blessed saying that. Gorgeous, those are gorgeous things to want. It's like basic necessities. I am so grateful. I love this. Did you make this yourself? I did make this myself. It's so cute. Thanks. What is something you've never told each other? That's a crazy question. I know, like I can't think of anything I have never told you. Did I tell you about my butt crack as a baby? Yes, okay. you had to get surgery on it, right? No. Wait, what was wrong with your butt crack? Shut the fuck up. What was wrong with your butt crack? Shut up, I never told you that. I feel like you have. I was born without a butt crack? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you have told me that. Okay, for context. I was <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have a butt crack now. I have, I'll show you if you want. That's nice. I'm kidding. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. I was born without a crack. It was just like a hole. Yeah. It was just a little hole, but it looked like a little biscuit <laughs> with a hole. And then as a time- donut? Okay, it's not gaping. <laughs> oh, but I mean like, I'm not, okay. That's not- My bottle wasn't gaping like that. No, but like how it would like, it wasn't like two cheeks going in. It was like a hole going in. Okay, I would say like a warm biscuit, and then if you like push your back. Okay, think of like a warm biscuit with like a hole, and then over time, a crack developed. But there was no crack there. Isn't that crazy? You didn't have to get surgery? No, just, oh. it just developed. My parents were freaking out though. They thought that I was deformed. But then the doctors were like, just wait, like, this is kind of normal. I've never heard of that in my life. I didn't have a butt crack and there's pics. And I know a lot of people that used to be babies. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Like, Isn't that nuts? Next time that you're back home in Oregon, I'll show you a picture. <laughs> Your butt hole? Oh. It's not like you haven't seen it before. But that's, I don't think I've seen your butt hole. I've seen just about everything else. That is the one thing that we, I like, I've we've shown never you shown you my butt hole. Have I? No. Damn. I've never even shown you the hair in my cheeks. Like dead ass. No, Cause by the end of this weekend, we probably will have. Girl, I don't think so, because we've camped together and I still haven't seen your butthole. You're correct. Yeah. But yeah, okay, other than that, I don't- You literally know everything about me. Dude, I can't think of one thing. I can't. I think it's literally just our buttholes that we don't I know. I genuinely think it's just our buttholes. Let's fix that tonight, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. Want to make, yeah. Make yeah. In spirit of Coachella, as tomorrow is day one, we get to dream headliners. Mm. Three. Dead or alive. <laughs> Kidding. Girl. She's just dribbling like <laughs> on the main stage for like an hour. <laughs> Going like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> just shooting threes. Yeah, and she's just throwing basketballs <laughs> into the crowd for people. I would love that, dude. I would lose my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> she just turned me on stage with like crazy.
crazy lights in the background. Literally, she's like, this so <laughs> hey, wait, what's that one um, basketball group that's like 10% look, 20% skill? No. The basketball group that's like a performance basketball, they're like- Are you thinking of baseball? No, they're basketball. They're like the Franken- I might be wrong about that, don't think. The bananas? No. Why Clark Okay, real talk. Should we do like two more? Outcast. That would be insane. I need to see Andre 3000. Oh my god. Beethoven? would be crazy. Just like on 10 points of Molly. Yes, bro. With a band in the background. You mean an orchestra? Cause it's literally. I want, I want a band. I want some like drums. I want like, um. Orchestra. I want a synthesizer. Was it you that we were talking about how we want to do like powdered wigs one year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that we should do that. A two Beethoven set? Yes. 100%. <laughs> or we can become DJs and our thing can be powdered wigs. Don't steal that. We're not doing that. You can do whatever you want with that. <laughs> uh, okay, either Beethoven or Bach. Okay. That'd be nuts. Mm -hmm. I want like a... Mm. Okay. You're getting crazy. And then Nickelback, period. Even though he's going to be at Stagecoach, but I can't go. It's so sad. Saying Beethoven and then going <laughs> Nickelback after is actually batshit crazy. <laughs> Same <laughs> vibe. Okay. Same vibe. <laughs> Fucking Outcast, Beethoven, and, and Nickelback. Nickelback. Period. My top three headliners. Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. Well, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Period. Keep Michael Jackson for Sunday, though. I like that. That laugh. I like that. I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> um, Michael Bublé. No. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, absolutely not. Uh, no. It's so nice. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Fuck. I don't know. Andrea Bocelli. No. Oh my god. I would love that though. <laughs> that would. That would pop off. Okay. I want to say BTS because it would be so fun, but the crowd would be actually hell, I feel like. Mm -hmm. So if I had like an artist pass, like, yeah, absolutely give it to me, I'll be in the front, but I would be scared to be in that crowd. Mm -hmm. so I'd say BTS, Michael Jackson, and- Black Swan. Hell yeah. Wow. One Direction. Period, bitch. I was almost, almost gonna say Lady Gaga, One Direction. One Direction. One Direction. And that's the only direction. Yeah. And you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in a few months <laughs> for my Coachella video. I don't know. It won't be a few months. I will try my best to get her to do that ASAP. But no promises. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Go follow Christelle. Go Please. follow her on her socials. I'll post Christelle it. on all social media platforms. I'll post in the description. And we're gonna have a great freaking time this weekend. I can't wait for you guys to see this vlog. Oh, it's gonna be that shit insane. Yeah. Love ya. Bye. Bye.